Secretary of State John Kerry giving Paris not only a promised hug, but a song too, with a little help from a famous friend. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you got to do is call. And I will be there, yes, I'll be there. You got a friend. No, you aren't seeing things. Secretary Kerry bringing along singer James Taylor as he paid respects to the people of France. So is that the Obama administration trying to make up for not sending a high-ranking official to the Paris Unity Rally? The Kerry-Taylor appearance setting Twitter afire. S.A. Joan tweets, this is a joke, right? I mean, this has to be a joke. Please tell me this is a joke. Well, Monica Crowley calls it Peter, Paul, and Mary foreign policy for real. And Ian Bremmer tweeting, nothing says I'm sorry like James Taylor. And I love this one, Nick Hansen tweeting, after James Taylor, juice and cookies were had by all as Secretary Kerry read stories on the magic carpet, then a nap. And joining us, my little friend, the host of Red Eye. The tables are turned. Oh, that is Your true. host of Red Eye, he's also the co-host of The Five. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do amazing things. Thank you very much. Um, what did you make of this when you woke up this morning? Well. I, again, I thought it was a Saturday Night Live skit, but I am biased because I really, really, really hate folk music. It's the worst thing about summer camp. It was in, invented in the 1950s to let you know when hippies were coming. When you heard it, like you knew warning. they were around the It was like a warning. It was like a bell. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and science, I guess, has shown that uh, if you listen to too much folk music, it creates or causes restless leg syndrome in rats. So it's a very dangerous thing. Uh, it wasn't right for a super... It's not a message you would expect from a superpower, maybe from a bed and breakfast in Vermont, but not the United States of America. This was like an open mic night at a progressive uh, coffee house. I'm all for, you know, I'm all for peace through strength, but not peace through peace. Peace through peace. That's at work. Music. Yeah, no one's buying. This is what I want to know. Mm -hmm. What was it like in the meeting with, like, I'm assuming that they had to have, like, a little meeting to think, was this a good idea to take James Taylor? And what they would have, what that was like, did they, like, hey, uh, Mr. Secretary, I think that would be a really wonderful idea. Do you think that actually happened? Yes, I think, you know what, maybe it did sound, I think, by the way, I, I, as much as I can't stand the music, I think James Taylor obviously meant well. And, certainly. And, and certainly meant, and, and I think, you know, these, these, it just shows how different they are from us. Like, we would think this is crazy. No, I would have said, here's, here's some planes, yeah. and you can go and bomb the training camps from which these terrorists were. Well, I said this earlier, I, they, there could be coded messages in this song telling us where terrorists are. We don't know that. This could be genius on the part of John Kerry, although I wouldn't put any money on that. But it could be. Um, I don't know. You know what it's, it, this would be like if, if France sent us mimes after the Boston Marathon bombing. But, we, you know, it would be hard to hear them. Yeah. Well, that's the point of mimes. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm They're glad seen but not heard. That. Yes. That's true. They're always walking against the wind. What, what, what song, what would you, if you had a choice and you got to play the terrorists a song, what would it be? Well, you know what I've noticed? Uh, what, what do worry, worry Warriors listen to uh, when they're when they prepare to go to war. They listen to Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, Megadeth, The Melvins, Black Sabbath. I, I think you always. Right now we're dealing with an acoustic administration. We need a death metal White House. What is it about the liberal mindset that? thinks that celebrity can solve problems. Yeah, I think this actually wasn't that. It was meant to be a nice gift. Like, here's my famous friend, and he meant well. Uh, but it, 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 it just kind of, for us, looking at it, it's silly. And I think he thought, you know, hey, it's fa he's famous. It's James Taylor. So not only did they not go to the march to represent us, but then they sent James Taylor and said this, shall, this should do it. This was like buying flowers for your wife because you came home drunk the night before. The truth is, I, actually, I know you don't like folk music. I like the song. Well, I don't. So there, you know what, and, I, and, and I'll tell you why, because I grew up in the 70s, I heard this song constantly on AM radio, it drove me crazy. The 1970s was populated, polluted by music like this, it should go away. Well, you are older than me because I had FM radio. Yeah, well, I, I had AM and I had FM. But punk rock killed this music. Well, thank you for joining me. Tonight. Thank you. And have fun on Red Eye. I will. DVR that one too. Watch it. All right, thanks. And police